Hello again. This is a big piece of cardboard I have on the garage floor so I can keep an eye on any leaks. There seem to be some new marks at the back end. It could be oil, petrol or brake fluid. It's coming from the differential. And from the smell we can tell it's oil. So we'll put her up on the ramps and fix it. May as well change the diff oil at the same time. There are two plugs in the diff, a drain hole plug and a filler hole plug. If the plugs are original, they'll have a square keyhole. We can see on this spare plug that the keyhole is tapered. The proper tool to use is a dog bone drain plug spanner with a tapered end. If not, then a 7 16th inch or 11 mm square key will roughly fit, but it won't make contact like the proper tool and there will be a risk of damaging the plug. I don't have the proper spanner and I need the car tomorrow, so I'll see how we get on with an 11 mm square key. Always take the filler plug out first. If you take the drain plug out first and the filler is completely seized, you're stuck with an empty diff and no way to fill it. We'll use a cocktail stick to remove any oil and dirt. It could pancake up and stop the key going in properly. And thank goodness it came loose easily. If yours is stuck, use only the proper tapered spanner and give it a good bash. Don't even think of using a blow lamp or welding a bar to it. You're right next to the petrol tank. Once the filler plug is out, we can stick a bowl under the diff and take out the drain plug. That came loose suspiciously easily, which probably explains the leak. The oil's flowing out okay, and it's a warm day, which helps. One very important point, don't forget to put something under the car to catch any splashes. I forgot, so it looks like I'm in big trouble. This oil looks horrible. I should have changed it a bit sooner. We'll have a fish around with an old magnet to see if there are any metal fragments. And it looks as if there aren't any. An important part of the job is getting rid of the old oil. I'm going to put it in a drinks bottle. It's good practice when reusing any container to remove the old sticker and relabel it. Well, this is a one litre bottle and the diff is supposed to hold a pint and a half or a little bit over 850 cc's. It looks like we've lost quite a bit of oil. Now, if you go to the website at oilcare.org.uk, you can enter your postcode and it'll tell you the nearest place that will take your old oil. The plugs we've taken out look a bit damaged. They aren't very expensive, so we may as well replace them. The new plugs have a hexagonal keyway instead of a square. They're also a bit longer. The length isn't a problem as there's loads of room inside the diff, but we'll need a 3 8 inch Allen key. More importantly, like the old plugs, the new ones have a tapered thread. A tapered thread relies on the thread itself to make the seal. If they leak after being tightened, it's usually because there was debris on the thread or the thread was damaged. So we'll give the diff thread and the plug a very good clean. We'll also use some thread lock. That'll stop them coming loose again and will help fill in any chips in the internal thread. You might not expect this, but it'll also make them easier to remove next time. 
The thread lock helps stop the plug and the diff from getting permanently corroded together. I couldn't find any torque figures for the plugs, so we just nip them up firmly without going nuts. Remember, somebody's going to have to take them out again at some point. They only need to be tight enough to keep the oil in, and the diff is not a high-pressure system. We'll refill the diff with a good brand of 80W90. Do not use ordinary engine oil. It's a lot easier to get the oil in if you use a syringe. This one's calibrated so we can see how much we put in. The diff should be filled until the oil just runs out of the filler hole. The car's on ramps and isn't level, so the filler hole is a bit higher than normal. That'll cause slight overfilling, but not by a significant amount. We should be putting in about a pint and a half, which is about 852 cc's. The actual amount was 860 cc's, so we're pretty much bang on. Now we can put the filler plug back. Finally, you may have noticed a small threaded hole at the top of the diff. That's a breather hole to stop the pressure building up and forcing oil past the seals when the diff heats up. It's supposed to have a tube like this in it, but many cars don't seem to have them. They're just plastic and easily broken off. But you can get a brass replacement, which is what I've fitted. And that's about it. We just need to wipe everything down and keep an eye on it for a few days to make sure it's not leaking. And clean the driveway, of course. Thanks for watching. See you next time.